It is happening. You are finally going to walk out onto the court and be an NBA player again. What do you think that's going to feel like? I'm kind of nervous about it, actually. Uh, you know, at the end of this month, it'll basically be a calendar year. So uh, it's been a long time coming, to say the least. You've been working with Showtime on this very cool documentary project, and it's given us all these behind-the-scenes looks at your recovery that we normally would never get to see. They won't forget about you. You'll be back. I feel like I did everything right this year. You've called this the most challenging, the most difficult year of your life. What were some of the toughest moments for you? It's almost like a punishment, you know, when you were a kid and you, you know, get your favorite toy taken away for a certain amount of time. And, you know, once you, you know, you finally get it back, you just, you feel like you love it even more. So uh, it's kind of one of those feelings and, uh, you know, once it's in my hands, I, you know, I'll take care of it. How do you think you're going to come back a different player than you were when we last saw you? Well, obviously, I won't be the same player. Um, I've gotten better. <laughs> so, um, you know, a lot of things have changed in my game. Jump shooting, um, skill work. I think everything has just increased and, and, and gotten better. We already know that you will be able to dunk when you come back because we saw you dunk on KD in practice. <laughs> that was a cool moment. Uh, you know, me and KD, we, we kind of kid around in practices a lot and, uh, you know, get into our own little one on one battle. So uh, it's pretty cool. You've talked to other guys who've had this injury before Dominique Wilkins, Kobe Bryant. Some guys have this kind of injury, they are never a good enough player again, they can never really continue. Some guys are able to move forward and build a whole second stage of their career. What did those two guys tell you about how to do it? Well, with Dominique, that's who I've probably spoken to the most. And uh, he just basically tells me to attack it. Once you you realize you are healed, like, don't think about it, just, just go forward. The guys who weren't able to move forward past this injury, do you let that get into your thought at all? Not at all, not at all. Um, one thing that, that Dominique, also spoke on is, uh, you know, they don't know your heart. And they don't know your drive. You know, people that do know me, they know I'm very stubborn. Um, I don't like to be proved wrong. How have those parts of your personality really come forward in this last oh, few months? they've gotten worse. <laughs> <laughs> A lot so worse. You're coming back more stubborn than you left us? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Should the officials be concerned? Nah, they're, they're on my good side right now. All right. <laughs> you had one of the most tumultuous first six or seven years in the NBA of anyone I can think of. And the question always hanging around you is, is it the King's fault? Is it Boogie's fault? Then you go to New Orleans, rave reviews out of the Pelicans locker room. You come to the Warriors, your teammates and coaches, great things to say about you. If you finish this year on that same tip with your coaches and teammates being so supportive of what a great guy you are to have around, do you think that's gonna change a lot of the people who doubted you, their minds about you? Because there's organizations that said nah, we wouldn't won't. even trade for him. Probably won't, probably won't. But I mean, I, I can't live worrying about what the next man thinks. I know who I am as a person. Uh, the people that matter around me know who I am. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. You did get a technical this season. <laughs> right. On the bench, in street clothes, which is very impressive, by the way. Right. <laughs> but in general, the fiery side of your personality seems to fit in well with this team. You've got Draymond Green. And Coach Steve Kerr, he was just talking the other day about a game in Sacramento a few years ago where you stayed in the game. He's the one that got thrown out because he was going so crazy. And he said he looked and caught your eye. We were kicking their ass. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he was pissed. And as they ejected him, we kind of caught eyes and I just kind of, you know, gave him away. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think he could be too mad about that. <laughs> What does it mean to you that if you do get fiery and emotional on the court in this stint with the Warriors, you're surrounded by people who've gotten emotional on the court themselves? I actually prefer teammates that have emotions. It means you care. Uh, compared to a guy that's kind of just nonchalant and goes about it like it doesn't matter. So uh, I want guys that care. I want guys that show they care. And uh, you know, that's something that the team does. There was a feeling at the start of the season that the Warriors were gonna be a title favorite regardless, that you needed them more than they needed you. But then the season has gone along and do you think it's shifted a little and they might need you a little more now too? Uh, I don't really pay attention to storylines. I mean, uh, 
they're gonna say what they have to say. They're gonna have their opinions. Uh, we're the most hated team in sports, so. You think you're the most hated team in sports? Can I would say that, that there are a lot of people in this country who love to hate the Yankees or the Cowboys. Well, put us up there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say the Warriors are for sure. Um, you know, they, they hate Kevin, they hate me. I think the only guy they really like is Steph. <laughs> they may hate him as well. They hate Draymond, but um, I mean, it is what it is, so. Uh, I can't, I can't worry about that. The bottom line is getting you back on the basketball court. When people hear Boogie's back, what should they know? I'm back and I'm, and I'm not looking back. Um, I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm leaving it on the floor every night. And, uh, you know, I plan on coming back for that top spot.